in class 10th in the chapter real number the second topic we find in our book is prime factorization that is factor tree that means for example if any of the digit is given over here and we have to find its prime factorization how will you uh, draw the prime factor tree for that okay we just make it in this way it is not divided by 2 so it is divided by 5 and 5 into you just divide it 5 4 is a 20 5 5 is a 25 that means when you multiply both of them you have 225 after that again 5 9 is a 45 then 9 3 into 3 clear so in this way 5 5 3 and 3 these are the prime numbers ultimately we left in the end so its factor 3 becomes 5 into 5 prime factorization becomes this. So these are the prime factors of the given numbers. Okay. Now using prime factorizations or using factor tree, how will you find HCF and LCM? I'm going to explain you. And also I'm going to explain in this video what is the relationship between HCF and LCM. As it is in your syllabus, so that's why I'm including this video as a second part. Now the questions in the, are in form of this way. Find HCF and LCM of these digits. Okay, I am just taking this uh, a sample. Now find out the factor trees of 8, 9 and 25. 1 by 1. So here we get 2 into 4. Then again 2 into 2. Now for the 9, 3 into 3. So this is the smallest prime number. Now for the 25, we get 5 into 5. Okay. So, the prime factors for 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 and prime factor for 9 3 into 3 prime factor for 25 we get 5 into 5. Now, if we have to find HCF, we can see over here nothing is common. In all these three. So its LCF is 1. Now LCM. LCM for the LCM. There is no common. So this is 8. This is 9. This is 25. So 8 into 9 into 25. When you multiply all of these three. We get the LCM over here. This is a typical question. I am going to take some more, more example. In order to explain LCF and LCM. For example we have a data of. I will take the different data where we also get the common digits. For example, we have 12, 18 and 24. I am just taking the samples in order to explain this. Okay. Firstly, find out the factors for the 12, for the 18, for the 20. So, for the 12, we have 2 into 6, then 3 into 2. Okay. Now, for the 18, we have 2 into 9. Then 3 into 3. Then for the 24 we have 2 into 12. Then for the 12, 2 into 6. Then for the 6, 2 into 3. Okay. Firstly make the factor tree for all the given numbers. Now write it in proper manner. 12, 18 and 24. Okay. So for the 12 we have 2 into 3 into 2. 2 into 3 into Okay, clear. Now for the 18, what we have? 2 into 3 into 3. Clear? So for the 18, we write 2 into 3 into 3. Now for the 24, what we have? 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay? Now, we have to find HCF and LCM for these three. So, for the HCF, we just take that number which comes in all of three. We see here, two comes in all of them. Okay. Three and three and three. It is also here. Three, three and three. Three comes in both. Okay. So, HCF is equal to two into three which is equal to six. Clear? Now, LCM. How will you find LCM? For these two, just cut it down, it becomes 2. For these three, just cut it down, it becomes 3. Okay. Now see clearly. Here 3, 
doesn't come in any of them but 2 and 2 it comes so cut it both of 2 and write it over 2 now left over with 3 and 2 so and again 3 and 2 then multiply them we get LCM 2 3 is a 6 2 is a 12 12 3 is a 36 36 into 2 which is equal to 72 so this is the process by which we can find HCF and LCM now there are little bit numerical problems literal theory problems in which which are based on HCF and LCM okay be careful in finding the LCM okay now I'm going to explain that problem now the third topic which comes in your course we have to see there is a relationship HCF into LCM is equal to product of numbers so what is that and how will you do that question is find the LCM and HCF and verify this relationship that means these two data are given we have to find these are the two numbers we have to find the product of two numbers we have to find the HCF of the two numbers and LCM of the two numbers and then we see whether this condition is satisfied or not actually this is the formula that which represents the relationship between the two judges firstly I will find the HCF HCF for 26 you can either find it by prime factorization or by the factor tree okay so we write in this way 2 into 30 and for the 91 we have mm, 7 into 30 okay these are the prime factors so 26 is equal to 2 into 30 and 91 is equal to 7 into 30 so from here we find HCF is what HCF is 13 because 13 is find both of them and LCM what is LCM LCM is 2 into 7 into 13 2 into 7 into 13 the numbers which are left over and that which is common if we have to take it only a single time so from here what we get the numbers are 26 and 91 So from here what we get HCF is 13 and LCM is 13 into 7 to the 14. Now we find it. What is that? 13 into 14. 4 3 is a 12. 4 1 is a 4 1 5. It is 3 it is 1. 2 5 3 8 1 82. It becomes 1 82. LCM is 1 82. Okay. Now we have to find the product of numbers. Product of numbers. Which is equal to 26 into 91. Now multiply it. 26 into 91. Which is 6 and 2. 9, 6 are 54. 5, 9, 2 is 18. That is 23. What we get? 6, 6, 2, 3. And we get here 2, 3, double, 6. So, product of two numbers is 2, 3, double, 6. Okay. Now, we have the relationship HCF into LCM is equal to product of number. Now, we find the product of HCF into LCM. Now, what is HCF? HCF is 13 and LCM is 182. Now, we multiply both of them and find whether it is correct or not. So, 182 into 13. Simply in mathematics. 3 2 is a 6, 3 8 is a 24, 3 1 is a 3, 4 5. Then 2, then 8, then 1, 6, 6, 3 and 2. We get the same answers. That is the product of HCF and LCM is equal to product of the numbers. So this relationship is very important. If any of the thing, if any of the number, if the HCF or if the LCM which is not given, then we can easily find out that thing with using the relationship HCF into LCM is equal to product of numbers. Now let's study how will we apply that format in these types of question. For example, question is given in this way that HCF of 306 and 657 is equal to 9 and we have to find the LCM of these two. Now we can easily see here these are the two numbers 306 and 657. So what we have relationship? We have relationship HCF into LCM is equal to product of numbers. 
product of numbers. So HCF is 9, LCM we don't know. Now the product of numbers that is 306 into 657. Okay. Now in order to find LCM, we just simply divide 306 into 657 with the 9. Okay. Then we easily get the LCM. So 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9. Now 3 threes are 9, 1 10, 3 fours are 12. So we get 657 into 34. Now after multiplying these two, we get the LCM of these two numbers. That is 657 into 34. 4 sevens are 28, 4 fives are 22, 4 six are 24, 25, 26. 3 sevens are 21, 2, 3 fives are 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 19. So 2, 2, 1, 3, 7, 6, 13, 10, 2, 12, 2. So LCM becomes 2, 2, 3, 3, 8. So in this way, if one, any of that uh, uh, SCF, LCM or the numbers are, uh, not miss, are not given, they are missing, they, we can easily find out using the formula HCF into LCM is equal to product of the two numbers. So in this section of the video, it is uh, enough. Now in the next video, I will make some more topic of your lesson. Thank you.